What is Concrete Shoes? Man. Concrete Shoes is a band that uh, we formed. Yeah, we play some music that we've created, and that's what it is. Concrete Shoes is a conglomerate of a group of friends that came together to create something special. Concrete Shoes is a, a culmination of backgrounds and cultures that we've managed to come together and uh, we put our hearts in this shit, you know, it's just uh, something we never imagined to come together and here we are almost five and a half, six years in and uh, we're, do- we're doing the thing. We got a bass player, a drummer, I play guitar and we got a south side vocalist who goes hard. I went to high school with Coleman and Mike and we grew up playing metal. So throughout the years, Coleman and I actually ended up working at Maggiano's and here comes Ming. Some of us had an opportunity to make a living, paying bills, getting in the grind together. And that's ultimately, I think, what really did help us create a relationship. Definitely a different world of influences. We all came from across the map that is Central Texas, if that makes any sense. You have John Ming from Colleen growing up with rap and hip hop. You have Jesse, myself, and Mike D growing up with like blues, groove, and metal. It's kind of a weird dynamic that is proven to work out. Low points. I feel like uh, if not for the low points, we wouldn't have such a, a constructive view on our work. You know, there was instances where John and Coleman got into altercations, Mike D and myself. I mean, we've had our instances where we're like ready to almost, you know, beat each other up. But yeah, there's an incident between John and I. The, the band aside, that shit hurt me as a friend. We've been able to move past that. So I guess, you know, in a weird way, the lowest point is kind of the highest point. You know, it's just communication. It's just trying to trying to be better than we were yesterday. Let's not be those people that, you know, we're destroying something good. There's always going to be hard down times, and those are sometimes what even draw you closer. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track, no. Uh, I can name, like, shows that were impactful to me. Yeah, Empire Control Room inside. We all huddled together before we went on stage, went out there and fucking killed it. And we were rocking just a house party, you know, maybe like at least a hundred people there just crammed in a small house. We're just jamming out. It's the holidays, we're just having a good time. That's definitely a a deep embedded memory in my brain as far as shows go. Uh, We played for our friend, Philip. We played at his birthday. Everybody was so close, you know, he knew the words, everybody was chilling, packed house. His, his family at a family event pretty much and it was probably one of the best experiences playing that I can remember it works because we're such good friends man Yeah.